Hey guys, Brooke Walker here. We are nine weeks out from the Olympia. Some decreases in food, so relatively, well, at this given moment, actually consuming quite a bit of carbs. However, those have been tapered down. So for example, in the morning, I would typically do about 50 grams of creamer rice. Now that's been cut to 35 grams of creamer rice. Still eating quite a bit of food, which is great. I'm still staying relatively satisfied, but at that two and a half hour mark, that's when my body is kind of notifying me, hey, it's time to eat. So I do eat every three hours. My eating schedule has been the exact same for years. So whether I'm in season or off season, whatever the case may be, I'm always relatively eating at the same time. So I typically eat breakfast at 6.30, my second meal is at 9.30, 12.30, 3.30, 6.30, 9.30. So my last meal is typically right before bed at 9.30 p.m. So all those myths that we've talked about where you can't eat past 8 p.m. or 6 p.m. or whatever the trend is nowadays, totally false. It's just a matter of what foods you're fueling your body with at those given times, right? So I am having carbs, like I said. So my pre-workout meal that I had today was my usual 90 grams of cream of rice. That's pre-workout, that's not my first meal, right? 90 grams of cream of rice. I had a scoop of whey protein, 10 grams of peanut butter, and you know, the infamous 100 grams of banana. That is, you know, you gotta put your banana in the fridge though, right? I like a cold banana, it's, it makes a huge difference. So if you haven't tried it, try a cold banana pre-workout and tell me what you think. Some changes whenever I don't have, whenever I'm not training, obviously my carbs are kind of cut back. I'm not consuming 90 grams of cream of rice pre-workout. On my non-training days, I cut that down to 50, right? So I'm still consuming it, it's just cut. Aside from that, you know, it's the usual. You guys know if you've been kind of following my journey, I've never consumed meat within my bodybuilding career, so that's nothing new. So my protein sources do come from fish, so I'm typically having 130 grams of white fish or salmon, um, some veggies, 100 grams of jasmine rice in most cases, and all the greens your body can eat, right? I'm a veggie junkie, so I love veggies. Asparagus, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, green beans, the works. Something that I typically do is add lettuce to everything. So it's just kind of like, you know, you start to diet and I want some more volume. So, you know, veggies are kind of a free for all and lettuce to me is super, super filling. I can eat like a whole bag of it per meal, you know, and it makes me feel fuller. Um, Obviously, when your veggie intake's kind of high, you might experience some bloating, so you can always adjust to, to kind of accommodate those things. Um, whenever you get closer to a show, you might need to taper those things down, obviously. But you should have a coach, and if you don't have one, get one. 